Hello, welcome back to Echoes of Emergence. I'm here with Jenna Greengold, as always, hey. on a weekly basis, mm. talking about, well, we do card pulls and we just talk about really the intuitive guidance that comes through those and through us as channels of the divine. And we're really here to allow these echoes of your own emergence to ripple through your body as sensation, emotionally or physically, as you receive these things. See what gets awakened within you mm -hmm. as these frequencies reach you in your field. So today we are doing a card spread from what's it called? Sacred Nature Oracle? Yep. Sacred Nature. Okay. So caveat friends, we hate the guidebook. Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully, we we hate the guidebook, <laughs> but we really like the cards. They have they're beautiful. Some, yeah, they're really beautiful and they have like really, I would say intimate in um energy, mm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I agree. Very striking. Very sweet. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Striking and sweet. I like that combo. So mm. we pulled a spread today, and neither of us have any idea what the fuck it means. So we're just going to roll with it and allow the channeling to come through as we navigate this experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you like me to start or would you like to start with moving through this spread? Oh, I would definitely like you to start and I'll I... hold them up like you used to hold them up. Okay, so excellent good. job. So <laughs> the first card is the energy that is leaving that we've already kind of mastered and come into well come into mastery of in our field so what is that one please show up so that one is going to be commitment commitment so just take a moment to look at that image feel into that so yeah this whole spread to me feels like commitment to the divine and it could be mm -hmm. it could be it's like it it feels devotional to me and it's not yes. just devotional to the divine itself, but to the divine within you. So that could be your soul or it could be your higher self. Mm -hmm. um, your higher self really being the source point from which your soul has then kind of separated itself and come down into the body. Mm. So to me, it's like we've mastered this commitment to our soul, this devotion to higher understanding and relationship with divine. Yeah, before we started, I was getting the sense when I was looking at all of them that it was very much about self trust. Oh, go to hell. You know that's no, what I know you're on. That's right why now. I wanted to wait to say it till we were recording. That's, I wanted to save space. That's so respectful. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so excellent. All right then. Okay. Yeah. Next yeah, you've been card. wanting that. We'll move into the self-trust piece over the course of this lot of this video. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the Oops. second card is what are the current energies? It was innocence. Which Jenna was like, what? And the first thing that came up for me, I got all excited because I was like, oh, that's Christ consciousness, right? Like mm -hmm. this feeling of, and I've, and of course I've felt this in the field for a while that Christ consciousness has been present and it's been coming through more palpably and more boldly, but it's all about that witnessing as our, of ourselves as little precious little babies of the universe, you know, like mm -hmm. child children of source. And I think mm -hmm. being able to appreciate the purity that we are right. Because when we look at like a newborn baby and we look at innocence and in small children it's that that feeling of purity and clean slate and like you can do no wrong. And that's exactly what Christ consciousness brings us when we connect to it. Hmm. Hmm. I like that interpretation a lot. Hmm. Yeah. And I feel that's like good. what did innocence feel like to you in the body, Jenna? Lightness. Hmm like relief mm. like a relief yeah that's interesting because to me it feels like this sensation of like richness mm. like richness and texture depth richness and purity because i think about 
like when I like like purity of essence because I think about kids and like that veil between the divine and the human is so thin for them up until like oh age seven ish yeah you know and even after that but I mean that's really when it starts to shift and they become more aware of like you know other humans and getting lost in the human sauce and all of those things and so yeah it's like this this rich essence of self mm that comes through innocence and and that's exactly what we get when we channel christ consciousness go ahead what's coming up i was just gonna say like less diluted mm. yeah because of the 3d mm. yeah yeah less interference less noise yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. beautiful okay. in turn richness yeah i like that that's right, what was the next one it was, okay. it was good. I liked it. The third card is the energy that's currently coming in. Mm. Sacred marriage. And she's like hiding. I don't like the fact that she's hiding, but we won't talk about that right now. Um, put it over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sacred marriage. So that one, the energy coming in. What that feels like to me, it's so interesting because it comes from this devotion, which we've mastered and this like purity of essence and lightness, right? Mm -hmm. And relief that comes into the body. And so the sacred marriage is, in my opinion, bringing those two together, like having those two in place is your foundation for being in a real sacred mutual exchange with source itself. Mm -hmm. Right. I so, feel like it's sacred marriage of the embodiment. Ooh. Like between your human and your soul. Mm. And establishing that, that self-trust. Yeah. That's kind of what came up for me when I was looking at it. Mm. I like that a lot. And I like that based on the image of the card too, because of that almost like hiding piece behind it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where she's kind of hiding. And so it's like, okay, that it's like that. I always say, I always reference this song, Gratitude by Brandon Lake, right? Where he talks about, come on my soul, don't you get shy on me. It's mm -hmm. like, don't let your soul get shy and hide, right? Like allow it mm -hmm. to come forward in your embodiment. I love that. Mm -hmm. mm. What was our last? You're ready. I know. Okay. I'm last part I think was, uh, what are you, what are well, like, what is the invitation mm. from all of this? I really just forgot the question. I wanted to know what it was. Focus. focus. And this is not in focus, which is really driving me crazy. <laughs> it's really not that bad. Okay. Focus. Yeah, focus. Mm. Right. So what, okay, I'm going to let you answer this first. Mm. What comes forward for you in terms of the invitation after that spread, that invitation to focus? It feels like determination. Mm. It feels like not allowing things to pull you out of alignment. Mm. Don't get me started. I was I was going to pull you into a whole fucking conversation right now. I kind of felt that I got a little scared. That's why I stopped talking. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'm done. I'm going to stop there. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah determination and determination of what the embodiment not mm. letting anything you know the determination of being in alignment with your soul of following your oh here we go soul that desires following truth your truth mm -hmm. and staying focused in what that is for you and not letting your um nervous system throw you off and then if it does fall, falling back into truth and focus mm. right knowing it's kind of it's like for, knowing that it's for you that you're on 
the right path. Yeah. Like letting it be an anchor point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like an anchor point to keep coming back to. Yeah. I like that a lot. What an interesting spread. It's very, very interesting, which is why we were like, do we want to pull a different one? But I'm like, no, we're going to go with what came forward. Right. (laughs) And so for me, the focus comes forward in a couple of ways. One is very similar to what you were feeling. It felt like kind of determinate, like conviction, mm-hmm. right? Conviction. Mm-hmm. Um, but it also felt like, it also feels like this very symbolic opening of the third eye, letting mm. yourself see through the lens of divinity. Mm. So that, yeah, we can come into the embodiment. We can be in this really intimate marriage with the divine. And our lens with which we interact and see the world is is sharpening its focus with a different driver behind it, right? The driver Mm. behind it is the soul, is the alignment like you're talking about, is the divinity. Mm-hmm. trust the driver look what i just grabbed i just wanted to pull another one i just grabbed this <laughs> <laughs> that's so excellent i love these repeated messages from the universe they're so special and friendly uh, that was funny yeah mm. okay so what does this feel like in terms of guidance for people for this week Mm. to me it feels like deepening relationship with source more Mm -hmm. allowing yourself to go into that spiritual place that sacred place Mm. which goes allowing what comes forward yeah witnessing right Mm -hmm. goes right along with what was coming forward for me around that which was like to me it feels like a relaxation of the body a Mm -hmm. releasing of any tension that you're holding in the body um really relaxing and resting into ownership and claiming of you being a divine vessel Mm -hmm. right like it's interesting because these feel very like they feel very relaxing. Mm-hmm. Like they feel like they should be very, they should, they're very comforting. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it kind of makes you like eh, mm-hmm. a little bit, you know, mm-hmm. because it feels like it's bigger. It's this relaxing, right? shaking shit up. Yes. Yes. It's like your insides are kind of being recalibrated mm-hmm. as you relax the body. Mm hmm. Which is what the divine does. I like it. I like the spread now. I take it back. Yeah, a good. I like it too. I think it's yeah, relaxing and like it's very soothing with this kind of curious discernment. Mm-hmm. That's the feeling mm-hmm. I get from it. Yeah. It makes me think of our channeling circle this morning that we did in the membership and just like recognizing any sensation as a cue to welcome in the energies that are already eagerly awaiting for your invitation to come in and move through you, right? Mm -hmm. And it's really giving ourselves like a, a, a template and and an open vessel and a softened vessel to be able to receive that. And I think mm-hmm. that's how we get to that space, like you said, of deepening into the soul, into alignment. Mm. Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. I like it. All right. Do you feel complete? Is there anything else you want to share? I do. I feel like, huh, about this spread. I still want to like, Mm. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, there's so many, 
I feel like there could be so many interpretations of this and I'm interested in hearing what other people would think of this. Mm -hmm. Like I'm very interested. Right. So we had commitment, innocence, mm -hmm. sacred then, marriage, yeah. focus and trust. Mm hmm. Mm. And I would also say that like our choice to be in devotion is an invitation for the innocence to arrive mm. as well. Like that decision is important because that's the divine's, like I was saying on my live with Katie White earlier today on intuitive foreplay, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah. we were talking about this and it's like, when, when you decide, it doesn't matter what you decide, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can, you can decide, yes, I know I'm convicted. I know. And mm -hmm. then what is meant for you will come down the pike and it's going to be better than your decision, which you've had mm -hmm. a recent experience with. Right. Yes, and it's, it's yes. going to be better than your decision. And, but it's that decisiveness that calls in the frequency of conviction. And, and that's mm. what source responds to. And, and the response is bringing forward a, a, a frequency, a resonance. Right. And that resonance could be it's always abundance, it's always love, it's always limitless. Right. And, and, and it carries that, that, taste of innocence plus that boldness that I feel in that sacred marriage card. Yeah. Innocence with direction. Mm. Like being open to everything and then feeling the pull of your soul mm. and knowing that you are in sacred marriage with source, with yourself. Oh, I like that. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just a recognition that you're already in sacred marriage. Yes. Mm. And then like more of an invitation into innocence. Allow yourself to see everything that you once saw before you were clouded by 3D bullshit. Um, okay, I feel better now. <laughs> focus. Now you're on the focus card. So focus, Jenna. No, no, I'm done. All right, guys, we're done. So we'll be back next week with another one. And please, as Jenna invited you so beautifully. I feel better. Yeah, let us know what comes up for you because these yeah. are all Interesting. beautiful. Yeah. So many so, invitations through each one of them. Exactly. So that's what I was just going to say. Like, this is exactly what we mean by echoes of emergence. Like, I feel mm -hmm. echoes, meaning like ripples of like fractals of energy mm. or sensations that are running through me right now that don't have full clarity or cohesiveness on a conscious level, but are emerging. Yes. And yes. that's exactly what this is, right? It's like taking mm -hmm. all these and just, but I'm not going to do anything with them. I'm just going mm. to open space, right? To either just be with it and just allow myself to, to watch the energies, to witness them as they move and come into clarity because they will. They always do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So give yourself space to emerge, my friends. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Okay, Laura. Okay. <laughs> All right. Have a good week, dudes. Yeah, have a good week. All right. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now.